Terry's not been well for a few years. I think we, we're all aware of that. And there's been suggestions that his health hasn't been the best. So whilst um, it's very desperately sad to, to lose one of the great uh, footballing figures of the, the last 50 years, I, I suspect it's not really a, a huge surprise to those closest to him. Uh, but it's a sad day, unquestionably, for, for English football. Uh, of course, for the Venables family. But more importantly, you know, in, in, outside of that, for football in general, because he he was a different type of manager. He was a, the, one of the early tracksuit managers. He his approach to the game was was incredibly far sighted. Uh, laying the blueprints, you could see, you know, in what Guardiola does at at, uh, at City. There's the a little bit of what M, uh, what ba Venables did at Barcelona in that, and I think it's uh, it's wrong for anyone to diminish his his talents as a coach. Uh, every player I've ever spoken to who played for him uh, just says he's the best manager we ever had. I was at a, a dinner with, or a, an event rather with uh, with David House just this week, and that's the first thing he said. Terry's the best manager I I ever played for. Uh, and you ask the likes of Shearer and Southgate and many many others, Gascoigne, they would all say the same thing that they felt happier playing under Terry than than anybody else. There's no doubt about that. And he was a manager who who knew how players ticked because he'd been a creative player himself. He took over a team that had just failed to qualify for the World Cup in 94. Remember, that was under Graham Taylor. And he he transformed the mood. It took a while. There were some dodgy results and performances on the way, but he didn't have any, any competitive games to test. It was all friendlies for two years. He retained faith in those players and he believed in them and he was determined. Uh, nobody more than Alan Shearer, who I think was 13 games without a goal. And he just said, don't worry, when it matters, Alan Shearer will score. And lo and behold, in the first game of the Euros against Switzerland, who scored England's goal? It was Alan Shearer. That faith in Shearer was repaid many times in that tournament. And the country came together in a way that it hadn't for, for quite some time. It was a, a home tournament. I remember going to Bisham Abbey every day in virtually in that tournament. And as the tournament went on, there were crowds cheering them to training. It was astonishing. Uh, the, the nation fell in love with England uh, again, and it was Terry's team and the way he made them play. The fact that he could switch formations on the in a match was really interesting. What I would say was no players like to do the hard yards, the doggy stuff in, in training. And they sometimes you know, get angry or frustrated at a manager who makes them do that. So Terry didn't make them do it. They did that under Don Howe and Brian Robson. Then he could come in. And he would be the one who lift. So the building box that can be put in place by by those two coaches and the hard work, and then the nice stuff, the stuff they all enjoyed. Terry could do it. Brilliant man management. Post ninety six, the England players started to believe that they could do things. It took a while for them to have this incredible run of of uh, success or uh, performances, not quite success yet under Southgate. But there was a sense that England were a big team again, and that came from from the te the, the Venables era, and. There were other issues, of course. He wasn't universally popular in certain circles. Some people thought he was a bit too um, media friendly, which I think that can't ever say is a bad idea to be media friendly as part of the media. Um, and even though I wasn't um, what were termed friends of Tell, I, you know, I was critical at times. I also never criticised him as a coach. I always thought he was a, an outstanding innovator, thinker, tactician, and, and a, a coach whose legacy deserves to be remembered when after well after I'm gone, let alone now, sadly, after he's gone.